Vaccines to prevent SARS-CoV-2 infection are considered the most promising approach for curbing the pandemic and are being vigorously pursued. How does it work? The vaccine will introduce the identity of the virus in the form of a protein found on the virus and is called an antigen, which will trigger the immune system to produce antibodies. These antibodies have memory cells that will be ready to eliminate future exposure to the virus. By the end of 2020, several vaccines had become available for use in different parts of the world. Over 40 candidate vaccines were in human trials, and over 150 were in preclinical trials. Are vaccines our only hope? Will they end the pandemic? Let us understand better what they are. COVID-19 vaccines are being developed using several different platforms. Some of them try to smuggle the antigen into the body, others use the body's own cells to make the viral antigen. There are four categories of vaccines in clinical trials. All vaccines work by exposing the body to a weakened virus or to a part of the virus, which trigger the immune system to attack this parts and develop antibodies against it for future exposure. Nucleic acid vaccines contain a segment of the genetic material of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, the virus that causes COVID-19, the genetic material, RNA in Moderna and Pfizer vaccines, codes for a specific viral protein. When administered, your cells use the genetic material from the vaccines to create a protein that identifies as SARS-CoV-2. Your immune system recognizes and triggers a specific response. This type of vaccine instead of inoculating the germ. It only contains S proteins from the SARS-CoV-2 virus, which are recognized by the immune system and these proteins are the best to trigger a response. This response builds immune memory, so your body can fight off SARS-CoV-2 in future. The University of Oxford, AstraZeneca vaccine uses this technology. Viral vector vaccine uses an unrelated harmless virus that is engineered not to replicate in the body this is called, the viral vector. This vector delivers SARS-CoV-2 genetic material into the cells. When administered, our cells use the genetic material to produce a specific viral protein that belongs to SARS-CoV-2, which is recognized by our immune system and triggers a response. There are two ways to develop this type of vaccine, the live attenuated vaccine which contains a weakened version of the wild virus, which is recognized by the immune system to trigger a response without causing COVID-19 illness. The other way is called inactivated vaccines, we chemically destroy the virus to become inactive, then we introduce it to the immune system to create antibodies against it. In all types of COVID-19 vaccines the body immune system will store memory cells to recognize the virus in future exposure. The US Food and Drug Administration FDA, did not have enough data and time to analyze any COVID-19 vaccine for a full approval yet, but it has granted emergency use authorizations EUAs, for three SARS-CoV-2 vaccines in the United States. Two are mRNA vaccines, Pfizer, and, Moderna, whereas the third is a viral vector vaccine, Johnson & Johnson. The fourth vaccine is, Oxford, AstraZeneca. Several other vaccines are approved for full use outside the United States, and 27 vaccines are in Phase 3 clinical trials globally. This table summarizes the most commonly used COVID-19 vaccines. The first dose should give you some protection from three or four weeks after you've had it. But you need two doses except for Janssen vaccine, to attain stronger and longer-lasting protection. There will always be a chance you might get or spread COVID-19 even if you have a vaccine, so it's important to follow advice about how to avoid catching and spreading COVID-19. Some side effects occur as a sign that our body is reacting to the vaccine to build immunity. Some signs are more common among most vaccines this include mild signs such pain at the site of injection. Some severe reactions are also universal as allergic reaction, but they are very rare. Some of these side effects may affect your ability to do daily activities, but they should go away in a few days. Often people have no side effects. It is not possible yet to conclude the long-term side effects of the vaccines since this is a novel virus and some platforms used new technologies to produce the vaccines. To have more information check the link in the description to access our blog about the side effects. Thank you for joining us in yet another video at covering key health-related topics with Medical Arts Official. If you have any questions or comments please leave it below, and we will respond to it ASAP.